Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel Dr. Srinivas Medical Concepts and my FB page Dr. Srinivas Concepts. This is Dr. Srinivas, Neurologist from Rajamandri, Andhra Pradesh, India. My email is 3klpm at gmail.com. Today we are going to talk about a very very interesting topic, Optic Atrophy and Bow Tie or Band Optic Atrophy. Optic atrophy and bow tie or band atrophy. Optic atrophy refers to the depth of the retinal ganglion cell axons that comprise the optic nerve with the resulting picture of a pale optic nerve on fundoscopy. Optic atrophy is an end stage that arises from the myriad causes of optic nerve damage anywhere along the path from the retina to the lateral geniculate body. Optic atrophy may follow some other condition like optic neuritis or anterior ischemic optic neuropathy or papilledema and is then referred to as secondary or consecutive optic atrophy. Primary optic atrophy appears de novo, occurs as a heridofamilial condition like Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy or after toxic, metabolic, nutritional or compressive insult to the nerve. Glaucoma is also a common cause of optic atrophy. Foster Kennedy syndrome, it is due to an olfactory group meningioma causing anosmia with optic atrophy because of direct compression ipsilateral to the neoplasm and late contralateral papilledema because of increased intracranial pressure. Pseudo Foster Kennedy syndrome seen with anterior ischemic optic neuropathy or optic neuritis when the disease strikes the opposite eye weeks to months after an initial episode renders the originally affected disc atrophic. Now we are going to talk about a very very fascinating topic bow tie or pan optic atrophy when we wear shirt with a blazer generally we wear a bow tie so it is compared with that bow tie optic atrophy so bow tie is a horizontal kind of atrophy so if you see here this optic disc you have the nasal fibers on the horizontal side and the temporal fibers on the vertical side so in bow tie atrophy the nasal fibers get affected so the nasal fibers both these nasal fibers get atrophy resulting in a band or a bow tie atrophy. So this kind of atrophy you get it in optic chiasm because in optic chiasm the nerve fibers the nasal fib fibers cross over whereas temporal fibers do not cross. So in the optic chiasm the crossing nasal fibers get affected. So when the crossing nasal fibers get affected in the optic disc the nasal fibers are horizontally placed like this and therefore the nasal fibers get affected resulting in a band atrophy. Whereas if it is a lateral geniculate body, the temporal fibers get affected so resulting in an hourglass appearance like this because it is vertically placed temporal fibers so you get a hourglass appearance like this. So band or bow tie optic atrophy refers to a horizontal band of pallor across the disc that may develop in an eye with temporal visual field loss due to nasal fiber involvement with preservation of superior and inferior portions of the disc following a lesion of optic chiasm or tract. So to understand it better we can go back to the details. So here we have the macula which is a center for the visual acuity. We have the fovea and then finally we have the optic disc here. So this is the papillomacular bundle, the nasal fibers and here again we have the nasal fiber layers. But when it comes to the temporal fibers, you can see the temporal fibers, they go around like this and then come and join the optic disc, the superior aspect and if you see the inferior aspect also from the macula, they come below like this, trying to avoid the fovea and then go and join the optic disc and therefore when the optic 
tract or optic chasm get affected the nasal fibers get affected because the crossing nasal fibers get affected so in the nasal fibers get affected you have a band like atrophy like this the temporal fibers are spared but if it is a lateral geniculate body involvement the temporal fibers get affected and therefore the temporal fibers like this get affected so you have an hourglass appearance so optic tract or optic chasm causes bow tie atrophy the nasal fiber involvement whereas in lateral geniculate body lesions causes an hourglass appearance that is a temporal fiber involvement so this is a very interesting and fascinating explanation for bow tie or band atrophy so this is about optic atrophy and bow tie or band atrophy concepts because of the optic chasm lesion involvement. Uh, most of the concepts of neurology I put it in a question answer format in the book Focused Neurology written by me available online from all leading booksellers including Amazon. If interested it could be bought online. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this fascinating lecture of optic atrophy and bow or band bow tie or band optic atrophy because of the optic chasm involvement. If you have uh, enjoyed it please like share but do subscribe to my youtube channel dr srinivas medical concepts and my webpage dr srinivas concepts thank you bye